close. I don't understand. You had to have had them on when you were at the fair ones. Where the hell are they? Fairwinds? No, I was right here. They gave me something to say. Oh, stop it. Stop pretending. I know for a fact you broke out of this hospital and then you paid us a little unexpected visit at Fairwinds. That's not true. Pull it down. What? No. Pull down the sheet. No, no. Pull down the sheet. Get away you from hadn't me. had time to get their clothes on. Pull yeah, down please, the sheet. Please, please, stop it. Doll. She didn't even wake up. She put her head right back down in her crib and she was still up. What's that? Methadone. And there's no doctor's prescription label, so they came straight from the hospital. Honey, I, I, you can't think that I stole these. I have no, I'm not responsible for them. I didn't Be say that you were. Then how'd you get them? I found them. You're in the house? It was Emily, wasn't it? She had them hidden somewhere, didn't she? Where was Emily hiding them? No, I don't want to talk about it. They were in here, weren't they? They were in here. There has to be some kind of an explanation. Oh, yeah, there is. Emily has been drugging Meg. We don't know that. Yes, we do. There was methadone in Meg's system. Now there's methadone in Emily's briefcase. What more proof do you need? Anybody could have put those pills into her briefcase, Mother. Anybody named Emily? Why do you keep defending her? I need to go talk to her. No, 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 no. Talking's not going to do any good. She's only going to deny it all over again or blame me. She's become very adept at that. I just don't want to jump to any conclusions. You don't have to jump to conclusions. The proof is right in your hand. Now, I know how difficult this is for you to accept. But it's so much more difficult for that little girl upstairs. Just... I, I can't believe that Emily would ever do anything like this. Emily has been drugging Meg. You can't deny it anymore. Why are you doing this to me? I know you were at Fairlands. I wasn't nurse! I saw the clip. What clip? I have no idea the what you're talking about. The ridiculously ugly hair clip you bought for Eliza. I saw it. I don't remember a clip. Mm, really? Not even you can be that doped up. Emily, I need you to stop this. I, I, I put that clip in the back of a drawer because there's no way I would ever put that into Eliza's hair. And I came home today. Oh, there it was. And you think I was the one that did that? Yeah, because you're the only one besides me who even knew that clip was in the house. So obviously, you broke out of the hospital and snuck into Fairwinds and put it into Eliza's hair while she was sleeping. Why would I have to sneak around? I thought I was welcome to come see my daughter anytime I wanted, aren't I? Hmm. That's funny. For, for a nutcase, you, you can still think logically. I want you to leave. I mod you. Your little plan. You know, deliberately trying to shake me up. I don't have any plans. <laughs> See, I know for a fact you were in my house, Mick. You know, maybe we need to trade places, Emily, because I think you need more help than really? I do. Oh, you're so pleased with yourself, this little scheme of yours. Everything's going just the way you want it. It's not going to happen, I promise you. I am on to you, Meg, and I'm not going to let you get away with it. Nurse! Nurse, help! Nurse! Please, please don't have to help me, okay? She was threatening me for no reason. Why do you keep defending her? Why do you her? keep making her out to be some kind of a monster? Because she is, and she always has been. She has been a destructive oh. force in your life ever since. You were a you know teenager. What? And I have never liked the way you speak about her. She is my wife. Don't you see what she's doing yeah, here? Yeah, no, I see what you think she's doing here. She is drugging Meg to make her look unstable, to set back her recovery, to stop her recovery. Why would she do that? Because she wants her to look so unstable that a judge will have no choice but to award you full custody. We already have full custody. Only while Meg is in the hospital. Have you thought about what's going to happen when she gets out? Nobody knows what's going to happen yes, when she gets do. out. Yes, you do. You know. You know. Eliza will go home with Meg, and that's not what Emily wants. Don't you see? She wants to keep Meg in that hospital. You need a hobby. Something wrong? I don't know where to begin. Mother, why don't you go check on Eliza? OK. 
Okay, I'm not quite sure what lies your mother has been telling you about me. Not that I can't imagine, but none of that matters because I have something to tell you, something big. Yeah, I bet you do. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, I'm sorry. Here, sit down. What, what were you going to tell me? I went to the hospital. You went I to the hospital. Meg. You shouldn't have done that. You you should not have gone there. You know why I went yeah, there. Yeah, I know why you went there, because you're convinced that, that, that Meg somehow snuck in here and put a hair clip yeah, into Eliza's hair. I swear Eliza's to you, hair. that is true. You know what? She came into this house, she put that clip Emily, in Eliza's stop. hair. I don't when care, I stop it. Her about I don't want you going near Meg again, what? ever again. Why? Here's why. It's been you all along. You're the one who's drugging me. 